Hello and welcome to another video here at Nature Affinity. My name is Seth and on this channel we help others to align with the affinity of nature. In this video I'm going to share with you a concept that you may or may not have heard of before. A lot of people haven't heard of it but I feel that this concept will bring about a harmonious shift in the nature of our very society and our way of being. That concept is heart-brain coherence. Now, back in 1991, there was a discovery made that within the human heart is approximately 40,000 sensory neurites. Essentially meaning that the heart has its own neural network in addition to the neural network that we have in the cranial brain. And very interestingly, okay, let's rewind just a little bit, okay. Coherence is a state of unity, integration between mind, body, and spirit. A state of oneness where the energy is aligned is coherence. Now, this could be considered a method of accessing the intelligence of the heart since it has its own independent neural network, which has been scientifically proven as early as 1991. Think about it. It's over 30 years ago now. Over 30 years ago, they made this discovery. And yet, I feel that at this time, we are getting to the point where we can truly appreciate the implications of this. Now, the unity state of coherence does not exist unless we are able to align the two neural networks, the neural network in our heart and the neural network in our brain. To do so, we must align with a correct signal or frequency link to harmonize those neural networks into an extended neural network. So the frequency that we have to align with happens to be the magnetic field line frequency of the very planet that we live on. And now, this might be a little hard to follow because I don't have any graphs or anything that I can show you in this video at this time. But essentially, the magnetic field line frequency is the frequency of the magnetic field of planet Earth. And when we can align ourselves with that field line frequency, we can bring our heart and our brain into coherence. And a shout out to Greg Braden. He has an amazing video on this subject which I'm going to link in the description below this video so that you guys can check that out because he actually has a very good graph in there that will show you exactly what I'm talking about. He actually has an amazing presentation there. Great work to Greg Braden and Dr. Joe Dispenza. Those two are very big inspirations to me when it comes to thinking in a different way or as Dr. Joe Dispenza would say when you change the field you change the matter change the field change the matter not the other way around let's say that you have a guy that has a tumor they're operating on the tumor, but they're not understanding 
that the underlying reason for this tumor to exist is because of an energetic disharmonance in that person's frequency, in that person's energy field, electrical and magnetic. When doctors, practitioners can start to focus on the non-physical aspect of energy and align that with their practice, the people that are being practiced upon and treated upon and operated upon will become healed through that coherent frequency. If they can offer that frequency of alignment and coherence, that person's extended neural network between the heart and the brain, it will heal the person. It will send signals to that person's body to optimize it and to heal it and to bring it to full health. There's a book that I really recommend called The Biology of Belief by Dr. Bruce Lipton. And in that book, he speaks of epigenetics, how all of our organs, all of our genes are plastic, neuroplasticity. It goes beyond that. All of our genes are plastic. And our beliefs send signals through the frequency that they bring to our genes and into our very being. Our belief literally has the power to shape our personal reality. Now, you might be wondering how does one get into this state of brain coherence, brain and heart coherence? I've spoken about the alignment with the frequency of Earth's magnetic field. A very low frequency, 0.1 hertz. You cannot physically hear this frequency, but you can feel it inside of yourself. And when you can align with it, all kinds of amazing benefits take place. This frequency, okay, if you've ever gotten a gut feeling about something and you trusted it, you're aligned with the frequency. You're aligned in harmony with the intelligence of the heart. Because When we speak of intuition, I've often associated intuition with being your higher self speaking to you, which happens through the heart, because the heart is our center of feeling. Your higher self comes through that and speaks to you. And so the more that you trust it, the more that you trust the intelligence of your heart and your feeling, that you feel in your heart center, the stronger it becomes. That extended neural network, it gets stronger the more that you practice the coherence of it. And how does one practice the coherence of this heart-brain connection, one might ask? It's a very good question. There's got to be some kind of practical way to bring yourself to that level, right? And it's actually deceptively simple to bring yourself into that harmonious state of heart-brain coherence. First of all, the first step is to require yourself to change your focus. You see, so many of us, especially in these Western cultures, we're always up in our head, thinking, 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 thinking thoughts all the time. 
But sometimes we lose track of the fact that we should also be feeling. Consider that. Like, sometimes a person is so entrenched and entrained into their thoughts that they cannot understand the way that they're feeling because they have so many mixed emotions. This was me on my early journey. I had so many mixed emotions happening, mixed feelings about everything that I didn't really understand the way I was actually feeling. I couldn't make sense of it because I wasn't aligned with the intelligence of the heart. So the first step in aligning that harmony between the brain and the heart is to bring yourself and your awareness into the heart center. The easiest way to do that, and our ancient traditions even do this, like you'll see the Buddhist monks, they're bringing their awareness through touch down into the heart center. See the Buddha always sitting like this hands over the heart center. You can go like this too. Whatever way is the most comfortable for you, but it's easy, easiest to align your awareness with the heart center through physical touch. Because as soon as we physically touch something, our awareness automatically goes there. So that is the first step in aligning the brain and the heart in coherence. The second step in aligning the brain and the heart in coherence is to change or slow down the breath. Breathing is very powerful. When we're breathing shallow, we're sending signals to our body that we're not in a safe place. We need to consciously breathe slower and deeper. Breathe slower and deeper. Now the key to this is to breathe in. Do what feels natural to you, but breathe in slower than you normally would and breathe out slower than you normally would and breathe out for longer than you breathe in extend that process a little bit like let's say you breathe in for four seconds breathe out for seven Or you could breathe in for five seconds and breathe out for eight seconds. You'll find that there's a specific method that will resonate and work the best for you. There's not a specific one that I want to recommend here because I want to have you feel it out to feel what is best for you in specific. The third step in aligning brain and heart coherence is a change in feeling or a focus on a specifically coherent feeling like compassion, appreciation, or gratitude. Those feelings, if you can line up with those feelings, they bring you into that harmony. So we're going to go through that process together. And I wouldn't get too, too out of hand with it or too overboard. I would say one to three minutes of doing this will align you with that harmony for at least a good portion of the day and relieve yourself, most importantly, from the stress that you might be feeling on a day-to-day basis. 
So put your hand over your heart. Close your eyes. Focus into your breath. And you bring your awareness down into the heart center. And focus into one of those feelings. Like right now I'm feeling appreciation for the beautiful ocean air that I'm breathing in. The beautiful geese that are chilling behind me somewhere. I hear them. The amazing abundance of water that I hear flowing in the river behind me. The light breeze coming over my face. I'm having appreciation for all of these things. Allowing my body to relax. With my awareness in my heart feeling center. I'm going to do this for a minute. I invite you to do it with me. Now, I have no way of knowing if that was a minute. <laughs> I went along with the process until intuition said it was enough. And if you do this, like I said, don't go overboard with it, but allow yourself to loosen up, to relax. Relax yourself 100% into the present moment and get into that feeling space of the heart. Really feel those emotions right from your heart center. And breathe out for longer than you breathe in. This is a very simple technique. And I'm going to link that video that I suggested that you guys have a look at of Greg Braden's in the video description below to because he has the most amazing diagrams in his videos very much props to him and his research between him and Dr. Joe Dispenza they have inspired me to really as Dispenza would say break the habit of being myself now that's quite an interesting concept, isn't it? Because in the mainstream, 
there's a lot of sayings that say, oh, be yourself. Be yourself, right? But when you be yourself, for a lot of years, many of us didn't even get to make a decision on our own. Our parents told us what to do, made decisions for us. Our society showed us what we want or made us think of what we think we want, essentially. Many of us have built our personality based on that. Think about it. When you go to be yourself and you have this subconscious paradigm that is not aligned with who you really are, and when you don't really know who you really are, you're not really being yourself authentically. You're being who you think is yourself. You have to break that program. Really break out of that program to really authentically be yourself. And through that harmony of the heart and the brain, you will find that it optimizes the body in the most amazing ways. You'll find psychic abilities, heightened intuition, become more acute. You'll have intuition about all kinds of things. Like me with this video, I had an intuition on where to go, when to come here. Sure, I might have written down a couple of things to say, to remind myself, but the words come through intuition. They get channeled because my brain is a receiver. Our brains are receivers for universal intelligence. Now, with this being said, that brain and heart coherence, when you practice that on a daily basis, if you really commit to it, that connection grows stronger, it becomes easier to tap into and it optimizes that body that you have, like your vessel, or soft technology as it were, or biological computer. However you want to see your body, it optimizes it in the best ways possible, mentally, physically, spiritually. I've found in my own experience of doing this, and I've been doing it only for several days now, I've only recently discovered this, even though those sensory neurites were discovered over 30 years ago. I've only recently discovered this for myself. I've found in my experience that my intuition, like without a person, for example, even opening up their mouth, I know exactly who I'm dealing with. And I know exactly what I can say to that person and where they're at, what level of receptivity they have. Heightened intuition. I've noticed that my sleep is better. I get better sleep because of this. It's easier for me to stay grounded in the present moment because of this process. Now it may be simplistic, but the most simple things are really the most intelligent. Simplicity is the most intelligent form of sophistication. With that being said, I hope you got some value from this video. Please share it if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And enjoy another beautiful day in paradise. Peace.